Hello again! This is, uh, video number eight, I believe. <laughs> um, I don't know if any, any of you in Rochester, or, or whoever's listening to this video, remembers, um, a person who was very charismatic, and, um, actually had a, a musical, um, entertainment type thing going on with this company called Musical Messages. That would be this person here. I can grab it quickly. The great John Perinci. It shows up pretty good. John Perinci. He he's um he was a band manager and he managed a few bands in Rochester, probably in, mostly in the eighties. And um, he was trying to get the Insiders or the Swing Set and other bands like that on his roster. Um, but he did have this band here. The Tension, one of his bands that actually played Hollander Stadium, I think after the police were there, and they, well, they didn't play in the stadium, but they played like in the stadium field area, and it was advertised as such. Um, this band here, The Tension, which would be um, Dave Martin, the drummer on the bottom left. Um, Ted Perkins, the guy in the middle, and Mike Pappert. And um, people know Mike Pappert also is part of Pappert and Pellini, as well as being a member of the Chesterfield Kings. Dave Martin joined Walt O'Brien and um, Dave Doug Cox for um, the swing set. He's on the bottom left. And... Um, Today, Ted Perkins in the middle is with Walt O'Brien in Inside Out. He's currently playing with him. Well, anyway, back to John Perinci. He um, managed a couple bands in Rochester. Um, he managed a band called Smokestack Lightning, who maybe a member or two end up in this band. Rochester's White Hots, Live at the Little. They were a great R&B type group, and the, um, Tom Haney was the guy that was from both bands. That he um, he didn't man uh, John didn't manage the White Hots, but he managed Smokestack Lightning, and Tom Haney joined the White Hots after a while. An, an unfortunate pairing of John and Musical Messages was um, the press tones. See right here. This, I don't have the other CD, but this is his, their CD retro by the Press Tones. If we can get the listing to come up, a few songs there. Uh, it's hard to see. I don't know. I can It's hard to see with this one because this, this was damaged in a flood, so I didn't. You tell the CDs all ripped up and everything. Um, but John Perinci managed them briefly. Um, but unfortunately. When they played out, <laughs> um, they had kind of a, for some reason, nobody advertised it or just didn't come out right. And uh, he ended up giving each of the members of the Press Tones a dollar each by the time they got <laughs> done paying the sound man and everything. And it was a disaster. Poor John had, a, you know, they split, split with each other after that, soon after. But the one thing... The John Perinci brought to Rochester was um, a guy from a guy from Chicago, Illinois, the great blues man, Jimmy Dawkins. And these are some of the records that John Perinci let me have. We got um, Jimmy Dawkins, Blues Power. It's a uh, Hot Wire '81, I think, 1981. Excellent. All these blues albums are just you know, they're great and they're worth a lot of money, I suppose, for people that collect the blues. Uh, this one, Jimmy Fast Fingers, Fast Fingers Daw Dawkins, another album by Jimmy Dawkins. Okay. I tend to state the obvious if you don't. <laughs> this is by a, a duo. There's Jimmy and Hip. The guy's name is... Uh, Hip Link Chain was the other musician. 
Jimmy Dawkins and Hip Link Chain. I think Jimmy Dawkins is on the far left. Blues. And one of the last records here. Jimmy Dawkins Band Blistering Strings. Blistering Strings, I think it's called. Blister String. Yeah, it's Jimmy Dawkins Band. It looks like a live, it could be a live concert. You see, it's kind of a live type thing. Well, anyway, uh, back to John. He ended up becoming an actor in Los Angeles. And he's been in a few movies. Um, he got to work with a lot of famous people doing bit parts, as he's doing now. And uh, luckily, he's doing pretty well. You know, it's good that he got into acting. After doing long stints as a band manager from Musical Messages and also doing a lot of comedy, um, he did some stand-up comedy in um, Los Angeles as well. And anyone, just look up his name. It's uh, John Perinci. I'll give you the spelling right here. You look him up and you'll find a lot of videos with John Perinci. P-I-R-I-N-C-C-I. -C -C -I. Alright, um, before I leave, i got a minute or so to show you another band. This has nothing to do with John, but I want to show another band that played a lot of British Invasion type stuff. Um, this was just released on, on a personal, personal label. It's the Eager Brothers. Eager Brothers. It's hard to see. I'm trying to get that. Yep. It's all different guys in the group there. The Eager Brothers. Let's show you the back. They did a lot of British Invasion songs. God, the glare is terrible in here. They did Don't Bother Me by the Beatles. The first one. A few other, other ones. They did a lot of Beatles songs. Um... The Eager, Eager Brothers actually feature this guy right here. If we can point him out. That's uh, Jim Havelock's late brother. He was in the Eager Brothers as well as... Uh, um, I, I hate when I draw a blank. But he played in another um, tribute to a British Invasion type group uh, before he passed away. And he also collected a lot of radios and um, it used to fix phonographs he was a great guy and I just it's a uh, Bob yeah Bob Havilak Tom Passamonte who still performs in Rochester Mark Guidice and John Borelli on drums Teddy Teddy playing bass whoever Teddy was but uh, John Borelli is still around so is uh, Tom Passamonte and uh, Bob Havelock, you know, great guy. And there's a great CD, which I think you can order, possibly. Um, it might be a, on some way of ordering it. I, I have to check that. And, uh, you know, th th this one thing that Rochester is known for is, like, having a lot of bands that do retro music to new wave and stuff like that. A lot of, you know, they like to dig up old tunes. And I might show you a few more bands that, are, that do that, such as the Projectiles. That's another one I'm going to feature on the channel here. Uh, but that'll be good for now. I'm at ten, almost 10 minutes, 9 minutes. And um, if you have any questions, just send them to me or write back on this video, and I'll see if I can write back to you. Thanks a lot.